welcome back. Kind of a noisy one inside the cab. I'm just heading down to the woods here. You ever wondered what I'm doing in the evening? Well, sometimes I take care of chores I've been meaning to take care of. Now this chore is getting rid of some stumps. I cleared out a trail through the red pine forest for access for my tractor and I'm left with a whole bunch of stumps. And so on the back here, I've got the woodland mills, the uh, stump grinder, and we're gonna go out here and chew up some of these stumps. And one of the nice things about this tractor, I've got lots of lights on it, so we're gonna do a little bit of stump grinding until it gets too dark, and then we'll pick up the rest tomorrow. Here we go. Alright folks, we're back to it and as you can see I've made my way down that way so far. Last night we ran out of sunlight and so I decided we'd call it a night and get back out here during the day. I was having a hard time seeing things. And so we're back out this way. The trail heads up that way and then it branches just up there. I needed an access trail for in this section of the Red Pine Forest. It's very dense in here and because it's so dense even with a really long winch cable, I can't skid trees out when they fall in the middle here. Now I'm also going to be doing some thinning in here, so it's going to be nice to have some basic access. Now if you're wondering why the trail sort of meanders as opposed to going straight, I wanted to follow the path of least resistance. I had a number of dead trees in this general direction, and so instead of cutting uh, fresh trees that I didn't need immediately, I just cut down some dead ones and then I'm just following that path. So it's going down there. We just came from 
down over here a lot of these trees some of them are live uh, I'll skid out of here for some uh, some sawing but other than that some of them are dead and so they may end up just staying here but that's what we're up against we'll come through here and clean up after the fact I just uh, took care of that little one these nice ones are very convenient because I only have to go down it once with the with the uh, grinder the stump grinder on the back I just drop her down and pass through it and it takes it completely out without having to take multiple passes critters everywhere out here anyways I'm gonna get back to it here we go
I'd say we did pretty good through here. I have one or two that I couldn't quite get just because of the angle the tractor was when we were backing up. So I'll just turn the tractor around at this end and come back through and button those ones right up. But I think there's only two or three of those. What I'm gonna do at this point after I get these ground up, I'm gonna go drop off the stump grinder. I think we're gonna put on the landscape rake. There's no more snow on this section of the trail. So we'll put the landscape rake on and we'll take one pass through. There is some bigger debris, maybe a bit down that way. And if we uh, go down with the landscape rake, I'm hoping I can shoo it off to the side and then I can make this trail a little bit nicer to navigate.